and action. So here we are on Saturday, September 4th, with Mr. Tristan Burns, who has kindly agreed to be my test subject. Are you ready to proceed, sir? All righty. Our first test that we're going to do is letter and word identification. So we're going to start with this one right here. And can you tell me what that word is? Morning. All right, super. And just so you know, I can't tell you when you get answers right or wrong, but when I'm telling you super good job, it means I'm appreciating the good effort you're making, okay? So don't, don't try to figure out what I'm really meaning because that's all it is, okay? All righty, so go ahead and read the others, but don't read them quickly, just take your time. Animal could garden become new library point. Marvelous. All righty. And keep going. Often special, however, brought jewel to natural distance. Rocking. Alarm signal, imagine, investigate, reverse, double, doubtful, EMT, need, need. Okay, which one did you? Would you say would be your final answer? Yeah. Okay, good job. Let me just get my notes going here. And all righty. How about the next one? Veteran sphere, um, account accustomed country college. Oh, let's just say that. Stamina, ferocious, breeze. Well, keep on. So, how to fair span chest, millinery, plus, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> that's, our, that's okay. All righty. Some of them are a little tough. Mm -hmm. Okay, they get harder as we go. Just do your very best, okay? Okay. Monopsipality items. I don't even know if that's a real word. <laughs> this one is, but later on we're going to do some that aren't actually, so you're good thinking there. Mind ret rhetoric. Agar and cement milieu. Okay. And you're gonna take it all the way to the end, dude. Territory. Except gun a children culture macaque. All right, super. You took it all the way to the end. All righty. This next one is going to be about just solving some math problems kind of thing just in your head. Okay. And let's keep going. We're going to start all the way here. Okay, so for this one, can you show me the one that says seven o'clock? Which one was that? The yellow card. The one uh, above. That. Okay, I said the yellow card doesn't say seven. How about which one shows two o'clock? Um, one above the red card. All righty, good job. All righty. So now, since we're looking at the cars, if you had three cars and someone gave you too many, two more, how many would you have all together? Um, five. Okay, and if you had these balloons and someone gave you two more, how many would you have? Um, wait, there's six. Seven. Okay, and then let me move this because this was just to help me make sure I got to the right place. 
All right, so I'm going to read along with me. There were six dishes. Oh, I'll read it. Okay. okay. I, I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. Just follow along as I go, okay? So there were six dishes on the dinner table. Chong placed two into the sink. How many dishes were still on the table? Four. All righty. How I do it like very fast. I use my fingers and my and I do it in my head. Okay, whatever strategy works for you, that's the way you would do it. Okay. Okay. All right. So this one is just for listening. If you had ten dollars and you spent five of them, how many dollars would you have left? Five. All righty. That one's just very easy. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see if we can find some other ones to look at here. Okay. So. Can you show me the two things here? Point to the two things that you could buy if you had 50 cents. The pencil and the candy bar. Alrighty. Because the rock is 80 cents. Okay, doke. You were right on there. Money, let's keep going. Right on the money. I made a money joke. I didn't even mean to. Alrighty. So now, for this next one, the candy bar costs 50 cents. How many quarters would you need to buy it? Um, two. All righty. The next one, when you add all of this together, how much money is this? I don't know if that's a dime or a quarter. Make your, make your best. Guess at it. Fifteen. I think it's fifteen. Okay. And let's see. The Greg family is having a cookout at the park. Mr. Greg cooked ten hot dogs. If the hot dogs are shared evenly among five people, how many hot dogs will each person get? Hmm. One and a half. Okay. All righty. Next item up for bid. And actually for this one, if you need to write anything down to help you figure it out, you can do it on here, okay? So, There are three eggs in each of four baskets. How many eggs are there in all? Three, six, eight, seven, 13, 11. Okay. The next question up for bid we have is, okay. Jay's car holds 15 gallons of gas. Anna's car holds 10 gallons of gas, and Ellen's car holds 20 gallons of gas. How many more gallons does Jay's car hold than Anna's car? Five. All righty. All righty, our next question says, while working on an art project, Dean takes one piece of paper and cuts it in half. She then cuts each piece of paper in half again. How many pieces of paper does she have now? Five. And the next one down here is at the snack bar. George can buy a sandwich and a drink for $3.50. George gave the cashier $4. How much change would he get? 50 cents. All righty. And our next question. On his first try, Kim did 14 sit-ups. On his second try, he did 18. On his third try the next day, he did 20. How many more sit-ups did he do on his third try than on his first try? Six. 
objects. Okay. Next we have, Carrie has 32 comic books. She read 18 of them. How many comic books does she still have left to read? Okay. okay, remember, you can go ahead and use this if you need it, all right? Okay. <clears throat> all right, the next one is the Roberts family have four people in their family. The Roberts have four people in their family. For breakfast, they each eat three muffins. If the muffins come in packages of six, how many packages do they need each morning? Mm. Two. Okay. And the last one on this page it says Jamar can pedal a bicycle at 45 revolutions per minute. How many revolutions can he pedal in two minutes? All righty, let's keep going. All righty. So Leela is on page 250 of a book that has 400 pages. She's going to read 30 more pages before she goes to bed. What is the last page she will have read before going to bed? Um. Two hundred and eighty. Alrighty. Next up, we've got John. John works at night. He went to sleep at four o'clock Tuesday morning and woke up at one o'clock Tuesday afternoon. How many hours did he sleep? Six. All righty. Next question. <clears throat> Many maps have a scale that shows miles in inches. If one inch represents 50 miles and you travel 250 miles, how many inches on the map would represent your trip? Five inches. Okay. Let me make sure I got that in the right spot. All righty. Our next one. If the probability of a rainbow tomorrow is two fifths, what is the probability of no rain? I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Let me do that again. Okay. I said rainbow is just rain. If the probability of rain tomorrow is two fifths, what is the probability of no rain? I don't know. Um, my teacher hasn't taught me about two fifths yet. Okay, that's all right. All righty, let's finish this page up. A dance is being held at the Eagles Club on Saturday, December 15th from 8.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. How many hours is the dance? Um, four hours. All righty. Next page. Okay. 
Lynn multiplied a number by 14. You with me? Okay. Lynn multiplied a number by 14. Then she added eight and the total was 50. What number did she start with? Um, I don't know. Okay. That one does not make sense. <laughs> it will someday. Don't worry. Okay. How about this one? Sabrina and Amy are playing a board game. There are two sections on the spinner. One is blue and one is green. The probability that the spinner will land on the blue section is four ninths. What is the probability that the spinner will land on the green section? <clears throat> again, my teacher didn't teach me how to do that again. All right. All right, how about this next one? Five students take an exam that has 25 points or 25 possible points. They obtain the following scores, 12, 15, 16, 17, and 22. What is the median score? Like the most score? I can't tell you what it means, so just make your best guess if you can. I don't know what it means. Okay, that's all right. The next one is an employee wants to buy a book that costs $7.50. She received a discount of 10%. How much did she have to pay for the book? Um, $7.40. Okay. Yeah. The next one. Rosa's favorite cake was a very large chocolate layer cake. She decided she would make one third of the recipe because she was only, she was the only one home to eat it. The recipe called for two and one fourth cups of flour. How much flour should she use? Two cups. All right. And we are done with this section. Okay, you doing all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. The next section is a spelling section. And we are starting here. And so we're going to start here at number 10, okay? See where we go from there. All right. Just back in. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Number 10. Spell the word is. It is very cold today. Is. I is. Okay, just go ahead and write it down. Number 10. Okay. <clears throat> Number 11. Fun. Going to the beach is fun. Fun. Okay. Number 12. Got. Beth got a new bicycle. Got. All right, number 13, am, I am happy, am. <coughs> One second. Okay, number 14, with, come with me, with. <coughs> <clears throat> okay. 
<clears throat> All right. Number 15 from the note is from me from <coughs> it's just from my mouth because my throat is dry from talking. Okay. <coughs> Number 16, camp. Sally went to camp. Camp. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Number 18, water. May I have some water? Water. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, my hate you, big. And you know what? Wait a minute, I skipped one. Can we, can, will you rewrite this down here? Because that's supposed to be number 18, and I'm, I think I missed number 17 because I was coughing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. How about number 17 now? Saw. We saw a duck. Saw. <clears throat> All right. Number 19. Nice. My sister is nice. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Number 20. Cooked. He cooked breakfast. Cooked. <clears throat> Number 21 is once. I saw a rodeo once. Once. <clears throat> okay. I just want to make sure that I can read what you wrote. All righty. <clears throat> Next up, number 22. So let's go ahead and start up here. All right. Spell the word dinner. Dinner will be at six o'clock. Dinner. <clears throat> well, will we go all the way to 60? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Number 23, fight. The dogs got into a fight. Fight. <clears throat> All right. Number 24, walked. John walked to school today. Walked. <clears throat> Okay. Can you read me what you wrote? Walked. Okay, can you read with the letters? Dinner, right? Okay, I just, I'm glad I'm saying this. Can you just read me the letters on this one so I know what it is? I want to make sure I read it right. W A L L K E D. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Okay, number 25, because she was happy because she found her dog, because. Mm 
Alrighty. <clears throat> Number 26, laugh. Mary loves to laugh. Laugh. Okay, those are kind of a little squished. So tell me what it is, what the letters are that you wrote. L A U G H. All right. Number 27, already. He has already finished his homework. Already. <clears throat> Okay, number 28, juice. Juice is my favorite drink, juice. <clears throat> All right. Can you read me those letters? How you, how you spelled it? J U I S. J U I C. Okay. Read it for me one more time for weights. You wrote it. J U I C E. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Number 29, comb. Comb your hair, please. Comb. Okay. Can you tell me what the last letter is you wrote? E. All right, thank you. And next question, number 30, vacation. We are going on a vacation. <clears throat> Okay. All righty. We do a few more. Okay. Number thirty-two. Spell the word manager. The manager left the store. Manager. Okay, was that on number 32? Nope. I'm sorry, I missed one. We're going to go. We don't have to erase it. We'll just, we'll just draw the arrow. And it's an important one because the word is important. Important decisions take time. Important. <clears throat> Hey. Okay. I do my ears like that. <laughs> okay. Well, everybody does their letters a little bit differently, so I just wanted to make sure that I was reading it correctly. All righty. So, number 33 electric. The clock is electric. Number 34, clothes. We pack our clothes. Clothes. <clears throat> Alrighty, the next word is sword. A knight carried a sword. Sword. Can I stop doing the writing ones now? 
tell you what, can you do one more and then we take a little break? Will that be okay? Okay, how about we do this last one for now? Calorie. A calorie is a measurement of food energy. Calorie. Okay, you need to rest your fingers. Okay, you want to take a little walk around? You need to get a drink or something? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, so you just take a look here, make sure I got everything read the right way. Interesting. Okay. It feels like it's been like 30, 40 or 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hasn't oh, been that long, long yet. It just takes as long as it takes. Okay. Everybody who does it takes a little bit for amount of time. It just depends on what you can show that day, okay? All right, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are on number, let's find the right number, 37. Subscription. She bought a magazine subscription. Subscription. Okay, number 38 is league. My brother plays on a little league team, league. Okay, all right, we're doing good. Next word is skiing. Skiing is a winter sport, skiing. Okay. The next one is number 40, gymnasium. The class met in the gymnasium. Gymnasium. All righty. Number 41, enthusiastic. The woman was enthusiastic about the idea. Enthusiastic. All righty, all ready. Next column. Number 42, spell the word cocoa. Cocoa is used to make hot chocolate. Cocoa. Um, after 42, can we be done with this writing? Well, let's see. Go ahead and spell cocoa for me, and then we'll take a look at it, okay? I know it gets, it's a lot of writing. Okay, and you know what? We can be done. Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. Come over here and I'll give you a pat on the back. Okay, you did a good job. I know that was a lot of writing. All right, I tell you what, let's just put this out of the way for right now. We're gonna have to think about it. We don't wanna look at this page anymore, do we? Okay. I will hide it so you don't have to look at it right now. <laughs> and now Sonic. And now Sonic? Maybe later. 
That sounds good. I was thinking about Sonic too. That's funny you said that. All righty. I watched the Sonic movie. Was it a good movie? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part about it? Um, him destroying Dr. Robotic. This is with Jim Carrey, right? Or Jim Carrey played the bad guy? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. When you said it then Sonic, did you mean the movie or did you mean the food? The movie. <laughs> then I wasn't thinking what you were thinking because I was thinking about the food. Oh, like where you get the smoothies and stuff? Mm -hmm. mm. I like that place too. I usually get the Oreo smoothie. Those are good. Mm -hmm. I like that. The butter fudge one. Mm. Alrighty. So for this one, okay, so you're gonna look at the picture. Oh, I know this one. The house is bigger than the person. <laughs> okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the sentences to yourself and then you're gonna tell me one word that fills in the blank. Okay. Well, I know that. That was the sample. All righty. How about we start with next page. All right. So just number 16, just read it to yourself and tell me one word that could go in the blank. That soup is too hot to eat. The bird is. Okay, whoa, 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 slow down. What I need for you to do, read it to yourself, but then just tell me what word I just tell me one word that you've used to fill in the blank, okay? And take your time. That soup is too hot to eat. Okay. The bird is flying. Okay, so what word would go in the blank? The middle. Tell me the word. The word that you put on that line. Is. All right, there we go. Okay, so read the next one to yourself and then tell me what word you would put on the blank. Um, I don't know that question. Okay, read this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about that one? Give that one a try. Um, <clears throat> a for apple, B. A is for apple, B is for that. Okay, so what goes on the blank? B. All right. Capital B. Yes, sir. All righty. So then read the sentence to yourself and then tell me what word you would want to put on the blank. A bird has two wings. Okay. How about the next one? Do you have a slide in your backyard? If not, you could find one at a store. All righty. And the next one? Mary wanted to go swimming first. She'd have to put on her swimsuit. Okay. And the next one? Mm. The sign by the building said no parking. It was not a place that you could leave your car. All right, you got it. I like pizza. What do you like to eat? Okay. How about the next one? I, I forgot what you say on the second one. On this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, did you mean you can't think of a word? Okay. If you're ready to go to the next one then. The drums were pounding in the distance. We could hear them. Okay. Blacksmith, blacksmith, I've come to you. My little gray pony has lost a foot.
All right. All right. Next one. Who is the Arthur? Or else has has she, she's shot. Okay. Say what you said again. Shot. Shot. Okay. All righty. How about the next one? I use my money to buy a new sleeping bag. It will be nice and warm when we go hiking. Okay. Slash camping. Need one word as an answer, so give me just one word. Camping. All right. All right. So what's the next one? <clears throat> I don't get the third one. How about the next one then? This morning, John walked to school. Usually his father gives him a bike. Okay. Well, let's keep going a little bit more. You're doing great. Like one or two more pages? Like one or two more pages for this section. But we still have other sections, okay? Well, let's just look at this page right now, okay? Lots of children like to put together small cars, airplanes, and boats. These plastic copies are called copies. Alrighty. How about the next one? <clears throat> There is an insect called a walking stick that looks just like a small toy, but when it starts to move, you can see it really is a bug. All righty. Next one. Raging mother does not have to be unfashionable hands, gloves. Gloves can keep you warm and add a little flair to your outfit. All righty, got the last one on the page there. I'm gonna pick the last one. Okay. All right, let's take maybe one more page and see how we go, okay? Mm-hmm. You're rocking it. An ostrich can run as fast as a horse. This bird is known for its speed. Okay, keep going. The old saying, blind as a bat is false. All he can see, although some see only poorly. Okay, how about the next one? A giant squid has eight arms and two tentacles that are attached to its foot. It seems it has surrounded its body. This okay. okay, so you, what's the word you want to put in the blank? Body. All right. How about the last one on the page there? A jiffy is 
equal to 101 uh, to one hundredths of a second. It is an actual unit of war. Okay. I think it keeps going. A little bit more. Aww. Let's take a minute and stretch. There's a little wiggle arm. Can we do the next section? We're almost ready for the next section, okay? Come on, you're doing such a good job. This one has too many words for me. <laughs> Okay, Are you sure you don't? Do you want to give it a try? Okay, what about anything else on the page? Okay. It's got way too many words for me. Okay, this one. What about that one? Okay. All right. Tell you what. Let's just take one more look and you tell me what you can do on this one, okay? This one has way too many words for me again. Oh. Shopper has, has way too many words for me. I don't want to give a shot for any of it. No oh, thanks. Okay. All right. You getting kind of pooped? I don't know what that means. You getting pooped? Tired? Okay. Yes, I'm getting tired. Okay. So what would you like to do? You want to take a little break again? Oh, okay, our next section is doing some math. Yeah, I just want to be finished with this already. We're about halfway. Okay. You want to take a, take a take like a five minute break? No, thanks. No? Okay. Well, I appreciate you trying your best here, okay? So for this next session. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip some of the beginning ones because you know how to do those. And we're gonna start with number 11 right here, okay? And, but we're gonna do a couple samples just to make sure we got it, okay? So you're gonna sample A, write the number one in that box. One. And for B, write the number three in that box. Okay. So now you're going to do some math and you're going to start with number 11 and answer as many problems as you can. If you come to one that you don't know how to do, just skip it and try the next one, okay? Make sure you do your work straight across. Don't skip all over the page, okay? One minus zero is just Nine. Okay, you just keep going. I do not get this one. Okay, so give it to give it your best shot, and if you're not sure, skip and go to the next one. Okay. My teacher hasn't teached me times yet. Okay, just try the best you can. Okay. Just go across the line. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Can you try any of these? 
Well, zero times four is just zero. You will go ahead and answer that, Melvin. What do you, I don't even get this one. Okay, well, okay, how about this one? That one? No. That one? Give it a shot if you can. Actually, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm still being taught times. It's all right. Um, I don't even get this one. Which one? This one or that one? This one. That one? You will. I'm say it's still the very beginning of third grade. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. Then we are done with that section. Okay. Okay. And we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. And are we halfway through? We are over halfway through. Okay. Like two more sections left. Well, we, like that? we actually we, we are halfway. We finished five sections. We've got five more. Okay. Yeah, there's ten sections. Ten sections. Good job. You got that. All righty. So for this one, I'm going to ask you to do some writing. I'm going to write as neatly as you can so I can read it. I'm not that you got writing. Oh, no, just do it for the best you can, though. I know you're tired. Okay. So we're talking. I'm going to tell you something and then ask you to write, okay? So for number seven, write a good sentence that tells what is happening in the picture. You read your sentence for me. Tell me what wrote. A bird feeding birds. A bird is feeding bird. All right. For the next one, can you write a good sentence that tells what the girl is doing? Mm -hmm. I forgot what that's called. Let's do here, yeah, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this one before you go anymore, okay? Make sure what you make sense. It says, a woman cannot find her car keys. Can you write one good sentence that tells about this using the words by the car? There's another car. There's um, okay. another car by the car. Okay. Okay, did you hear the first part of what I said, though? Okay, a woman cannot find her car keys. Write one good sentence that tells about this and uses the words by the car.
The keys are by the car. Okay. All right. For our next one, number 10, you can write one good sentence that tells what is happening in this picture and what could happen next. Okay, there. Okay, there's a first section. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Can we do two more and then we'll take a little break? Like two more, then we'll be done with this section. Well, let's finish this page and then let me take a look and see if we, how far we need to go, okay? All right. The next one, number 11, is to write a good sentence that tells about that tells what a flashlight does. Okay, can you tell me what you wrote? It lights stuff up. Alrighty, and the last one on this page, number 12. Write a good sentence that tells what is happening in the picture. Okay, can you read it for me? The dog wants to burn. Okay. Want to give your fingers a rest? You go take a little stroll or a stretch. Which page? What do we need to get to be done? Well, we're just going to keep going until we feel like we're done. Okay, so hang on one second. If you want to put that back down, just don't worry about it. Just do that. Let me. Do a little counting here, okay? I feel like we're done. You feel like we're done <laughs> with this section. Well, you know what? I'm going to agree with you. Okay. Okay. So, all righty. This one, I don't think we need this for this next section. Well, there's nothing on here. It's just going right now. Okay, that's okay. Alrighty, so you don't have to do any writing for a little bit, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. So for this one, remember you told me earlier that you didn't think it was a real word that other time? So this time you're going to read words that are not real words and tell me how they would sound if they would were real words, okay? So for wab and ib. Wab and ib. All right. You wab ib. You got it. All right. You ready to 
Do some more. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you're going to read each of them to me and don't go too fast, okay? Okay. Drugs. Drugs is kind of means drugs. I don't know. Well, it doesn't really mean anything. It's not a real word, but it does have the same sound. You are right. Okay. Nip, boy, leg, dog, spine, a dibble. All righty. You going to make it? Okay. Slow down a little bit so I can keep up with you, okay? Okay. Button, reach, bonted, quad, quads ruler. You're right. Citizen, citizen is a ruler. Contember, there's a couple of real words in here. Okay, can you say that last one again? Contember. Okay. All righty. All righty. Ready for the next one? Yeah. There we go. Say, 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 so real word. Hundred interest doming. Light headed coach. Coach like coach. Okay. All right, here comes the challenge. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Um, 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 now, for this next one, you're going to do some more reading. These are real words this time. Okay. Okay. And you're just going to do your best. Okay. 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 And take your time. Okay. There's no, no race here. Okay. A story about bees. Bees are little. They are bugs. Bees can make wax. Bees have lots of jobs. Well, they pretty much have like one job to get honey. <laughs> okay, how about here? Here is more about bees. They live in most parts of the world. They have two pairs of wings. There are three kinds of bees. There are three kinds of bees. The queen is the only bee that is able to lay eggs. All right. Let's keep going with those bees. The largest and most important bee is the queen. The worker bees and the drones worker, the worker, the worker beans, bees and the and the drones are smaller than the queen. Like other bugs, bees have three pairs of legs. These are aggressive only if they are disturbed. Sometimes a teacher may ask, do you know how long bees live? No, I do not. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, take your time. Bee beekeepers often build man-made frames to protect the honeycomb. A major job of all these is finding, gathering, and storing pollen and nectar. Cross-pollination occurs when pollen from two plants is mixed. Many different varieties of bees are found on every continent except, a, except Antarctica. The male bees called drones are unable to gather food, so they will so the workers feed them during the mating season. You got another page in there? 
this. I only have one more because I'm getting tired of reading already. Well, you were doing a really great job, okay? So whenever you're ready, let's keep going, okay? For centuries, people have marveled, marveled, marveled at complicated so social organization of the becoming community. The oldest non-compression bee fossil has two un unidentified unidentified astral traits. Many beekeepers are migratory, so they can take the bees to different locations and concentrate the insects in the areas that need pollination. Bumblebees? Bumblebee. Bumblebees colonies are really primal and have from 50 to 200 bees at peak pollination. Some species are gorgeous, but others are solitary and make into a very zone nests. We have a bee house some in my room. Really? Mm -hmm. We didn't put it up yet. So you don't have bees in your room, though. No. Okay, that would be something else. I'm allergic to bees, wasps, hornets, bumblebees, like every kind of bee and pirates. I don't know why. No, well, because your body says we don't like those. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to like bees. Well, we can like what they do, even though we don't want them stinging us. Uh -huh. And if they stink somebody, they would die too. Sometimes. All right. How about if we be done with that part? Yes. <laughs> That's a funny joke. You like that one. Mm -hmm. All righty. All righty. Can I do a joke about an, like with an axe? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> you can ask me anything you want to. <laughs> you like to make jokes? Mm. Are you a jokester? My mom is. Mom makes jokes, huh? I don't know if I've heard any good mom jokes out of her. Mm -hmm. Okay. This next one, you're just going to read things to yourself and circle yes or no. Okay. So here's some example ones that we're going to look at first. And you're going to read some sentences and decide if the answer is yes or no. Look at the sentence. It says, a cow is an animal. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Because the answer is yes, you would circle the letter Y. A fish can read no. Okay. An apple is blue. Okay, pause. So because the answer is no. Okay. Go ahead and do this next one. Ice is hot? Ice is hot. That makes no sense, but no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, this one is time. So you're gonna get three minutes and I want you to work as fast as you can, but I still want you to be accurate, okay? So hang on one second, let me get my timer going. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not gonna turn it over yet. Don't turn it over yet. Okay, and we're gonna go for three minutes, okay? So you're gonna start at number one and you're gonna read as many sentences as you can, decide if the answer is yes or no. After you get to the bottom of the first column, okay, start here, after you get to the bottom, just go right up here to the next column, okay? So work as quickly as you can uh, without making mistakes. If you do make a mistake, just cross out the one you don't want and put the one you do. If you have trouble reading a word or cannot think of an answer, just skip it and go on to the next one. And you have three minutes. Tell me when you can tell me if you finish before I say stop. Okay. okay ready? Go.
That scared me. It startled me too. All right. <laughs> that made me jump. I should have told you about the duck noise, but honestly, I kind of forgot I had the duck going. But you know why I leave it on the duck? Why? So that I make sure that I pay attention and notice it when it goes off. <laughs> now the ducks are broken. Okay. Well, you know what, sir? You have one more thing left to do, and it's a three minute time one. All right. You ready one for it? Thing, then we're all double everything? Yep. Yay. Yep. We've been doing a super duper job here. My back's hurting and my hands are hurting. Well, well you want to take a minute and just wiggle, 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 wiggle? Okay. Okay. I was like shaking like a duck. I don't know. I've never seen ducks shake like that. Sometimes they do. <laughs> ducks, ducks sort of like shake their behind. They wiggle their. They shake your, they shake their wings sometimes. Not when like very fast. They're trying to dry them, maybe. Like to get them dry, yeah. All righty. So this one is for your math back fluency, and I want you to work some simple arithmetic problems. You're going to start here, okay, and you're going to finish the whole row before you go on to the next row. All right. Ah. And you're going to keep going until you finish the page, and then you're going to go to the top of the next page. If you can't think of an answer, skip that one and go on to the next one. Okay. And okay. just like um, I see a tiny guy that like changes the color. I think I can move. Oh, I was kind of thinking of the stick bug. Okay. I think that's a tiny chameleon. I don't know. Or a squirrel, just a grasshopper. Maybe a grasshopper. Okay. Can you give me three more minutes of focus? Yes. Okay. Then, all right. So when you finish the first page, you're going to just flip it over and go to the second page, okay? And you're going to work as fast as you can without making mistakes. Be sure to watch the signs. And if you do make a mistake, just cross out the answer you don't want. And you're going to have three minutes and the ducks will quack when it's time to stop, okay? Okay. And if you finish before the ducks quack, let me know. Are you ready? Let's see. Well, tell Sana to get out of your face, dude. Are you ready? Get set, go. Oh, I made it cool too.
I jumped again. Well, me too a little bit, but we didn't jump as far this time, did we? Mm -hmm. All right. You know Got... what? Halfway. You got four whole rows done. That's awesome. Oops. Uh, nope, nope. I put this in down accident. Oops. You put what where? I put those at the wrong spot. Was this the answer supposed to go under there? It was. So this answer belongs with this line? Yes. And that's why you got it. Okay, well good. I'm glad you saw that because I would have looked at it out and gone, hmm. Alrighty. Do you like the timed ones better than the other ones? Alrighty. Oh my gosh. Well, I think that you should definitely that the pat on the back. No, thanks. Let him stop. <laughs> All righty. Well, I would say you have definitely, I don't know, Mom, can we get a snack? Are you snack, ready? Of course. You want a snack or something? No? You don't want a snack? You want to go watch your Sonic? Yeah. You want to go watch Sonic? Yeah, I'm probably going to get my games. What game do you like to play? Fortnite, Roblox, Apex, Arc, tons of games. Fortnite. We had a kiddo in the middle school who just loved Fortnite. Mm -hmm. What was the other one you said with the block? Roblox. Roblox. That's Minecraft, weird. Ark, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I can't play that because it needs an update. And it's still recording. <laughs> How about we say goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> Everything that I was saying, it was still recording. Well, that's okay. We were having an interesting conversation. And... Yeah,